Hello guys, we are continuing our coverage of Gemma 2 series of model from Google. This model is proving to be one of the best smallest model this year, I would say. Even it is better than the previous Gemma due to various reasons. Gemma 2 is a family of lightweight, state-of-the-art open models from Google built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. Gemini models from Google are equivalent to what we have in OpenAI's GPT-4 and GPT-4O and that is why the reflection of Gemini into Gemma is increasing the quality of these Gemma models. These Gemma models are text-to-text -text decoder only large language models available in English with open weights for both pre-trained variants and instruction tuned variants. If you go to the model card of this Gemato, you will see that there are various variants available and all of them are from the same mold but with different sort of parameters and different qualities. Gemma models are well su suited for a variety of text generation tasks including question answering, summarization and reasoning. In this video, we will show you how to install them on free Google Colab. We already have seen installation on the local systems, but a lot of people don't have a GPU and understandably so. So at Google Colab, you can just select the free GPU and then you can run this Gemma 2 model easily on it in the instruction tuned one. Because the relatively small size of this Gemma 2 makes it possible to deploy them in environments with limited resources such as <clears throat> your laptop, your CPU, your desktop, your own cloud infrastructure and of course the Google Colab with T4 GPU. So that is really cool and this is my Colab. Let's change the runtime to T4 GPU which is a free from Google. You just have to log in there. Also, in order to run this Gemma 2 model, you would need the Hugging Face token. And <clears throat> before that, you would need to go to this model card of Hug uh, Gemma 2 model and select the terms and condition and accept them because it's a gated model. Gated model means that you would need first permission from Google to use it and permission simply means to log into Hugging Face, accept the terms and condition and that's about it. You get the permission straight away. So once you have the permission, you need to log into Hugging Face. Once you log into Hugging Face on the top right, click on these three lines, go to settings. In the settings on the left, click on access tokens and then just create a new token with a read type. I already have this read token, so I'm going to use this one for this purpose. So I'm assuming that you already have obtained your Hugging Face token. Once you have that, let's go to Hugging Face, uh, sorry, Google Colab and install the prerequisites for it. And I am going to install this Hugging Face Transformers library with Accelerate from the source because it's such a new model. <clears throat> I'm not sure even if it is available on the PyPy version of Transformers. So I'm installing it from the get. So let's wait for this to finish. Shouldn't take too long. It is almost there and already done. So it has built the wheel. Wheel being set simply a pre-built binary which, conto which contains a, a compiled file of this repo and also the some of the related files. Okay, so that is done. Now let's log into Hugging Face. In order to log into Hugging Face, first we need to install this Hugging Face Hub library, IP widgets, and then we need to import the notebook login and then we will log in. So it is going to provide us a nice clean text box. Uh, box to put in our read token <clears throat> so let's wait for it and then we will put in our token at the bottom and this is where it is asking for our token just paste your token here in this box and then simply click on login and it is going to tell you that whether the token is valid or not and login is successful okay next up let's download the model and for downloading the model, all I'm doing it, I'm importing the pipeline and I'm referring to this model ID, which is Gemma to 9 billion instruction tuned. We are just using it for text generation and then we are setting the data type of the tensors and then we are setting the device to auto. Um, if you are using GPU, it is automatically will map it to GPU. Otherwise, it is going to run it on CPU. So let me run it. And as you can see that it is downloading the model 
the size there are four tensor 4.90 gig hopefully it is going to fit on this gpu let's wait for it to finish it is going to download all of these four shards all the four shards have been downloaded and now it is putting all the shards onto our gpu and this is a point where if your gpu is not supporting the model it is going to give you out of memory error so let's wait for it to load all the four shards all the shards have been loaded and it has also downloaded tokenizer which is great and now we can do the inference so in the prompt all i'm doing it i'm just creating this prompt template and the prompt is write 10 sentences which ended in the word beauty then we are just feeding it into our pipeline and then we are generating the response and printing it out so let me run it and as it is a t4 gpu so sometime it takes a bit of a time so just be patient with it let's wait for it to come back and the model has eventually come back took a fair bit of a time around five minutes to come back because of the t4 gpu and maybe there is a lot of load on it at the moment but look at the response almost uh, i mean i not almost but spot on every sentence is ending in the word beauty and the prose the lucid the flowing uh, text is really amazing so the quality of this mo uh, model is really awesome and the reason why the quality is so good is due to the data set which this model is using these models were trained on a data set of text data that includes a wide variety of sources the 27 billion model was trained with 30 trillion tokens and this 9 billion model was trained with 8 trillion tokens and it included web documents which was a diverse collection of web text and ensures that the model is exposed to a broad range of linguistic styles topics and vocabulary and primarily it was english but there were other languages too then its coding skills are quite good too and i have shown it in detail in my other videos so please search the channel and its coding was really amazing also its maths capabilities are also quite good which we already have seen in other videos plus it is quite good at logical reasoning symbolic representation and also you can combine these data sources and then maybe build a huge pipeline the data pre-processing was also done very very rigorously and for the hardware side of things it was trained using the latest generation of tensor processing unit hardware uh, tpu version 5p also training these llms required a lot of power so T tpus really performed well as far as google is concerned and for the software i mean the training software they used jax and ml pathways there is a lot of good detail available on their hugging face model card which i'm going to drop in the video's description so run it through let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching